from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. A third COVID-19 vaccine is closer to becoming available to you. An FDA committee just voting to recommend Johnson & Johnson's vaccine for emergency use authorization. The vaccine is a single dose shot. This recommendation will now be sent off to FDA officials who will then make a final decision on emergency authorization. If authorized, Johnson & Johnson said they would have 4 million doses available to ship immediately. Curriculum at Florida schools will soon have an enhanced focus on mental health. Governor Ron DeSantis and Florida's First Lady Casey DeSantis unveiling a new initiative on Friday. Resiliency Florida will use professional athletes and sports teams to change the narrative surrounding mental health for young people. The state is partnering with the Bucks, the Rays, the Lightning and other Florida pro sports teams to create online lessons. Coaches and athletes will share their stories of struggling and persevering in life. Schools will also be required to have at least five hours of mental health instruction for grades 6 through 12. And the state could broaden access to marijuana under some new bills. The measure would tweak medical cannabis rules and even attempt a long shot move to legalize recreational marijuana. Voters approved a ballot measure allowing medical marijuana in back in 2016, but some lawmakers say more research needs to be done to determine the safety and the effects of marijuana before they consider this. And now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? Another beautiful day on Friday. We've got more where that came from Saturday and Sunday. In fact, even a little bit warmer over the weekend as high temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s. Futurecast shows, you know, maybe, just maybe there's enough moisture out there with a 90 degree day, higher dew points and a sea breeze to squeeze out an isolated shower. But I seriously doubt it. If this were July or August, it'd be another story. But we're not there yet with the water temperature in the upper 60s. More of the same on Sunday with afternoon highs back up near 90 degrees as you see it right there. Maybe a cool down toward the end of next week. Rain chances could be a little bit higher then as well. But not tonight. Skies remain partly cloudy to clear. Wake up temperatures in the mid 60s. Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. Mid 80s in Tampa near record breaking highs, if not record breaking in our inland spots and then a gradual cool down next week. All right, thanks, Dennis. Don't forget you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app.